Hi, this video is to demonstrate how to create a component and specifically a solid component that can be exported as an STL uh, object file for 3D printing. I'm going to begin with a rectangle. I'll just I can find my rectangle here or push the R key on the keyboard for my rectangle tool. I'll go ahead and make this 100 by 100 millimeters um, square. So I don't need to type millimeters, I'm already working in those as my unit. Okay, let's take a look at this rectangle. Right now, <clears throat> SketchUp sees this rectangle as a series of entities. Um, it's basically four lines and a face. Um, now, if I, I want you to get familiar with this entity info box here. Right now I have no selection. If I select um, the square, it says that I've selected a face and that it tells me um, the surface area in square millimeters. Okay, 100 times 100. Now if I select this line, um, you, you see that it tells me it's an edge and that it's 100 millimeters long. So you can get that information on any entity. Now if I select all five entities, it just tells me that I have uh, five entities here. Okay. So, uh, what, as you, you can clearly see, we basically just have a flat surface. Uh, using my push-pull tool, I can, of course, give this some um, uh, dimension. Uh, so I'm going to just raise that up 10 millimeters. Okay, now I have this, uh, this the beginning of a box or something to that effect. Okay, you can see that you know individually uh, scrolling around, all th these faces, of course, are wanting to respond to push-pull. Just hit escape there. Uh, my space bar gives me my select key again. Now if I select all of these objects together, now I have 18 entities. I have all of these edges and six faces. Um, so uh, let's make this object a component. Okay, so to make something a component, I can, with everything selected, uh, we have some options. A triple click will select all connected geometry. It's got all the faces. Uh, I can also, if I drag left, it's going to select everything that touches the box. So notice if I do that, I'm missing um, some of those edges and such. Even if I capture most everything, I've still missed this edge here. Um, drag right can be really handy. With dragging right, it will capture everything that's inside the box, which could be handy if I just want to capture that edge. Okay. Now I've uh, just captured what's inside the box. But I want everything, so I think I'll use my triple click. Now I could right click and find Make Component. Or my other option is the G key uh, on the keyboard. G is the shortcut for component. It's more intuitive that that would be group. But G, um, the G key makes a component. Okay, I gave this component a name. <coughs> Now, um, looking in my Entity Info window, when I select this box, it recognizes this box as a solid component. Okay, now if I want to get back and edit this component, um, I can explode it to make it 18 entities again. Okay, or I also could have double-clicked and then worked inside the component. I'm just going to hit the F key for my Offset tool and draw a little rectangle, say, three millimeters in from the edge. Uh, I'm curious now as to whether or not selecting all this geometry will still uh, group and make a solid component. Uh, it does. So that, that little bit there did, did not cause any issues. Now if I double click in this component, it might be frustrating. You start trying to push-pull things and you see that little um, symbol there that says you can't do it. That's because you can't push-pull a component. You have to get inside the component to edit it by double-clicking. Now my push-pull tool will allow me to... I'm going to drop this 7 millimeters so that basically the, the bottom width of my box is the same as, um, as the other edges. Okay, click outside here and uh, I still have a solid component. This, this should export very well as an STL file. Um, let me just take a little more time here 
and show uh, where SketchUp can be tricky and where other tools um, sometimes tend to work a little better uh, when it comes to making solid objects. Now this might seem a little artificial, but often when you're working on things that are more complex, um, you'll find that you might have artifacts in the work, like a little tag of a line left over somewhere, a little face somewhere that's deleted so that you don't have a you know, a completely uh, consistent edge. And you'll see um, <clears throat> with, with this little edge here, now we're, we no longer have a, a solid component, which seems kind of obvious. I mean, this plane, this is just a flat plane some edges and a face. It cannot be printed. It does not have three dimensions. Um, and little things like this can, can definitely cause you issues and require um, that you get back into the work and, and go around and, and edit things. Okay, so I think we'll conclude here. Um, and hopefully that gives you what you need to produce a solid component in SketchUp.